Battle Station Specific is the follow-up to 2007's Battle Stations Midway. Like its predecessor, this game is a real-time strategy action hybrid that lets you take control of your aerial or your naval units. Sometimes you'll be piloting a fighter and taking aim at other aircraft. Other times, you'll maneuver a battleship across the waters while pounding other ships. Though some of the single-player missions move a bit too slowly, this fun mix of explosive action and tactics will keep you coming back for more. As you can guess from the title, you'll be duking it out during World War II's Pacific Theater. Battle Stations Midway's campaign was over in a flash. Battle Stations Pacific includes two campaigns, one for the Americans and an alternate history campaign for the Japanese. There's no story to speak of, though the historical context provides plenty of tension on its own. The voiceovers of your commanders should, in theory, lend a little humanity to the battles, but instead, the voice acting is so bad it actually detracts from the atmosphere. So, the Americans have been alerted to our presence. So, the element of surprise is gone. No matter, the battle begins. Luckily, that's a minor gripe and the campaigns are both satisfying to play and of a healthy length. At various times, you'll be flying aircraft at the helm of carriers, lurking underwater in submarines, and more. Remarkably, all of these action elements are extremely well done. While flight controls may take a short while to get used to, aerial action is fun and intense. You'll take aim at enemy aircraft, go on bombing runs, and coordinate squad-based attacks. It's as satisfying as any combat flight sim, and following your payload to its target, particularly when it's a torpedo, is a great reward for a successful attack. Taking the helm of a naval unit is similarly exciting, especially when you're in the thick of the action. Enemy squadron destroyed, sir. You can switch from anti-aircraft fire to artillery, to torpedoes, to depth charges. You must consider the range of your weapons and face the proper direction, so there's also an important tactical element to ship combat. Submarines have their own strategic needs. When controlling one, you need to be concerned with your depth and whether your crew has enough oxygen. Subs are best used for hit and run tactics where you lie in wait and line up your torpedoes perfectly until you're ready to unleash your deadly surprise. Sadly, sub-based missions are also the most boring in the game, such as a tedious one in which you skulk through an Australian harbor identifying enemy vessels. Other missions can be just as slow to unfold, pigeonholing you into a single activity for too long. Battle Station Specific is at its best when you balance all of its pieces simultaneously, switching at will between aircraft, ships, and submarines with a single button press. When all these elements come together, the game is a total blast. It can get chaotic, but it's never too much to handle, and the AI does a fantastic job of filling in for you once you jump to another unit. The action is only one part of the picture in the bigger missions, however. Using the tactical map, you can direct your units to carry out attacks and set waypoints. In certain missions, you must capture island bases by sending in troop carriers. These captures take a lot of time, and the struggle to defend your troop vessels and aircraft carriers will have you switching back and forth between the overhead map and various units. When you lose units, you can summon more, and the intuitive interface makes it simple to do so without taking you out of the action. The AI is effective, but you'll be even more effective when controlling the unit, which in turn leads to a great balance between leading the direction of the battle while jumping directly into the hot spots where you're most needed. Taking the battle online also makes for plenty of excitement. Of the five available modes, the most enjoyable one is Island Capture, where you and your competitors fight for supremacy using all the game's features to coordinate air and sea attacks. This is simply a ton of fun, showcasing the controlled chaos that makes Battle Station Specific so entertaining. Another great mode is Siege, in which one team defends an island base and the other rains death from the skies. The other three modes are entertaining diversions as well, 
particularly the one called competitive mode, in which you and your friends take on the AI and compete for points by accomplishing specific tasks, such as launching and flying your kamikaze rockets directly into a battleship. With many maps to choose from and the ability to let the AI fill in any gaps in most of the modes, Battle Station Specific's multiplayer offering could keep you occupied for a very long time. You should have expected something like this. Planes packed with explosives diving straight at us. Unbelievable. This is what we should expect from a sequel. More of the same fun gameplay, but expanded, deepened, and lengthened. By addressing most of the problems of the original and broadening the scope, developer IDOS Hungary has developed a cleverly balanced game that should appeal to strategists and action junkies alike. Even if it's a bit inconsistent, Battle Station Specific is a great sequel and a terrific experience in its own right that offers a lot of variety and lasting value. Hey, hey, hey.